Hi everyone, welcome back to Tiff Loves Tofu. On today's menu, we're making sweet and sour cauliflower. As usual, let's go over the ingredients. So of course, we're gonna be using some cauliflower, which I already went ahead and cut into little florets. I also went ahead and sliced some green onions to put as the topping for the cauliflower. We're gonna use some potato starch, and but go ahead and use cornstarch if that's what you have. Some panko breadcrumbs. And for our sauce, we're gonna go ahead and use some garlic, which I already pre-minced. We're gonna use some soy sauce, some apple cider vinegar, ketchup, sugar, salt, and black pepper. And that's pretty much it. With only 13 ingredients, this recipe is really easy to put together. And the, at the end of it, I'm gonna show you how to pack this up as a meal prep. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start off with creating a dredging station. And in our first bowl, we're gonna add salt and black pepper to our all-purpose flour. And in the second bowl, let's add some potato starch or corn starch if that's what you have. Add some water to create the slurry and keep stirring it until it's completely dissolved. And now we're gonna go ahead and dip the cauliflower into the flour. Once the cauliflower is evenly and fully coated with the flour, we're then gonna dip it into the potato starch slurry. As you're breading the cauliflower, you might notice that the potato starch will separate from the water, which is totally okay. You'll just have to go ahead and keep whisking it every so often, probably after every three cauliflowers. The slurry should always have a watery consistency before you dip the cauliflower in there, so just make sure that it stays that way. And finally, we're gonna coat it with some panko breadcrumbs, and this is what we're going for. So now that we know how to bread the cauliflower, let's continue this process until we've used up all the cauliflower. I must admit this is the most laborious part about making this recipe, but it's completely worth it, and this is perfect as a Sunday meal prep, and you'll just have lunch ready for the rest of the week. And we are done with the breading, let's pop these little cuties in the oven. Let's bake the cauliflower for about 25 minutes or until it's golden, and while it's baking, let's make the sauce. In a pan, let's add some olive oil, and then let's heat up some garlic until it's fragrant. After a couple minutes, let's add the soy sauce, and we're gonna let it heat up for a little bit before we add the ketchup. This is actually gonna give us that orange color that we're so familiar with. And for the sweet part in this sweet and sour cauliflower, let's add some sugar. And for the sour part, the apple cider vinegar, some salt, and black pepper. If you find that the apple cider vinegar is too strong, go ahead and add more sugar. And to thicken up the sauce, let's add some starch slurry. The sauce should thicken up after about a minute. Once it's done, turn off the heat and let's set it to the side. At this point, our cauliflower should be ready, so let's check on it. I highly encourage you to use a large bowl instead of this small casserole dish, which I decided to use. Uh, you're gonna want a lot of space to mix the sauce well, and as you can see, the cauliflower just completely fell out. Uh, don't follow my lead, just use a large bowl. Once the sauce has evenly coated the cauliflower, let's sprinkle some green onions and sesame seeds. And ta-da, this is the final product. It's super crispy on the outside and tender on the inside, and the sauce is just so yummy. But before I let you go, let's pack this up as a meal prep. So in four separate containers, let's add some steamed white rice. Meal prepping has been one of the greatest joys of my life. I started doing this after college and it has made my week so much easier. You know, you go into your fridge and you just have lunch or dinner ready for you. As long as you make good food or something that you really want to eat, then you'll never get sick of eating the same thing for that week. Anyway, I hope this encourages you to try out this recipe. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video or would like to see more recipes like this, please hit the like and subscribe button below.